It's refusing to lift the lockdown. It says there's something up with the reactor. You're from the company. Tell it you don't give a shit and to do what you say. Sorry, Ricardo, but I'm small fry. Me, Samuels, Taylor, we all are. Guess if we amounted to anything, Apollo wouldn't be so ready to see us killed. Well, well, well. I'm feeling iffy about this one, because previous missions were all called things like consultation. I'm like, that's that's kind of hilarious, but probably not that big of a deal. This one, uh, mission 14, is called The Descent, which anyone who's really played anything knows that a word, the words The Descent have been a good sign approximately never. So, uh, yeah. Good luck us! I also believe, was it, mission 14, like I think, I always forget, this mission, I think this game is like 18 or 19 missions long, so we're like, probably last five now? That's not too far off. Like, a vague approximation would be, hey, maybe there's five hours left in the game? Hard to say. The funny thing is that, in length terms, that's the length of the entirety of most horror games. Are those guys gonna come down here, or are they just going down a hallway? I don't think they're heading my way. I think they're just somewhere else. Alright. Yeah, oftentimes, uh, first-person horror games in particular tend to be about five hours long, mostly because the novelty wears off long before... Like, it's already... Like, Outlast was, like, five hours long, or six hours long, and that was, it was like, like, it was a little longer than, uh other games of its genre at that point already, and it felt like it uh, out, kind of outstayed its welcome with the way that it, uh, insisted on continuing for that long when it long since ran out of things to scare you with. In fact, I think the, uh, I think the whole ghost part of that game is just generally considered to be the worst part of it, because it's like, wow, it's just not... We're just kind of sitting here, just experiencing it. But of course, this, ga this game gets away with the different experience because it's not just a blind horror game. Here we go. I mean, it's not just a run around and hide in lockers horror game. It actually has mechanics and crafting and all this interaction stuff and exploration elements that change things up a bit. But there's definitely a constant sense of getting, like, hey, I'm getting things done and stuff like that. That's kind of refreshing for the for this kind of genre. Yeah, Something weird's happening. Synthetics are on the frit, so I found some guys to help me out. I sent one of them into a manufacturing room, but he never came out. Every door is locked, and he sure as hell couldn't fit through the air vent without a fight. We don't know what to do. It doesn't seem right to keep working without looking for him, but there's nowhere to look. Our ship's over, sir. I'll report the incident to Waits and the Marshals. Rut row. Indications of disappearing people. Of course, we all know where that goes. It's not exactly a surprise. But just that dark, mo those dark moments of getting hints of their first experiences with what, how things were going wrong and not knowing the full ramifications of what was going to happen. And there's, a, it's almost guaranteed at this point that anyone you hear talking is just already dead. Get to the reactor, and it's a way is away. All right. Just keeping it out, just in case. Oh, there's someone out there. Is he behind a wall? Oh, there's a window. I can see myself being exposed by that window. Let's check the vent. It's probably a safe way to get a little closer. Most things in this game don't really attack you in vents except for the big obvious one, but... They haven't been reestablished yet. Had my light on an accident. It's probably a bad call. He's somewhere on the left now. This got me past the camera. There he is. So the big question is, can I sneak by without getting spotted by him? And where exactly am I trying to sneak by? Uh, ooh! All these rooms are connected to each other. Okay. Nope, you saw me. <laughs> That's fine. I don't think he can do anything to me in here. He might be able to grab me through the vent itself if I were to stand too close to it, perhaps. 
No. He's over there now. Probably not a bad time to go for it if he's over there. Oopsie. I did not mean to do that. I meant to check inside of it real quick. Oh, shit. Well, that's not good. That was a series of things I didn't mean to do, honestly. What are you doing here? Hello, my honey. Hello, my darling. Hello, my ragtime gal. Huh? Yeah. Just gonna go in here real quick. Go faster. <laughs> a little faster. Alright, cool. We're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. I goofed it. I goofed it. I'll admit that. Oh, well. I guess I'll just have to actually use some crafting materials on some medkits. I believe I still have a backlog of crafting to do from the last episode, too. The last mission. We all caught up again? Yep. Alright. We're getting closer to the end of the game, so either I will have stockpiled my my items for the entire playthrough and totally wasted them, <clears throat> or we'll end up in some kind of showdown where I get justified for having saved them up for this long. Only time will tell. Only time will tell. All right. But yeah, I generally when the resource is limited, I generally go by the idea. We're gonna talk about safety. Who is? Oh, there's somebody over there. Oops. Let's not get spotted by him, though. But yeah, generally, if there's limited resources, I try to use them as little as possible in case there's a moment where I genuinely need them to proceed and get totally screwed by my previous indiscretions. But, uh, so far, I haven't had a lot of in incidents like that. It's mostly been totally reasonable to get through a lot of these situations without using any of my resources, really. Just by simple evasion. You can stealth past the alien just by being careful, in many cases. And you can avoid... What's that? Oh, that's the whirring of the camera motor. And, uh, the working Joes are so slow that you can just kind of run past them in many cases. Trapping them on geometry and going around them in circles and things like that. It's been pretty effective so far. Some people gave me crap for not thinning out all the, uh, Joes in an earlier run, but... In that- in that big, uh, working Joe mission, the big goal was just to get across the room, more or less. So, just running away was pretty effective most of the time. It was just getting cornered that screwed me, and mo the only times I got cornered was when I didn't know where the, where, where the level was gonna go yet. Because that level liked to blindside you, be like, being like, Go here! JK, it's a dead end that's locked! Now turn around! I'm like, but I can't turn around because they're all behind me, crap! So after getting faked out and dying a couple times, it was just like, okay, I got this down now. No big deal. Okay. So now we need to go back and find the upgrade for the Ion Torch because we're locked behind an Ion Torch burning location and no, with no ability to open it. Just gotta avoid these camera ranges. Maybe I can find a terminal that lets you turn it off? I haven't seen a, a wall spot lately, I don't think. Ah, I can't do that. It's gonna turn around too fast. I gotta go past it when it's in this direction. Or just deal with the consequences, kill all the Joes so that they don't even... So the cameras won't matter anymore. I think the cameras only alarm the existing Joes, right? Not calling new ones. So if you took out all the Joes, then the cameras wouldn't matter, but I'm trying not to do that. I'm no- I'm no android pacifist, especially with these super simple, unconvincing simulations of humans types androids, but, uh... Not in a hurry to, uh, have to kill every single one. There- there we go. That was the one, and this long-ass animation's gonna get, get me killed, isn't it? Nope, it will not. Well, that wasn't such a big deal. Huh? Uh, one of them's gonna turn around and spot me while this is happening, isn't it? Fuck it. I don't think anyone saw me. <laughs> I don't think that working Joe's here very well, like the alien. So I think I actually can get away with just running in that situation if they haven't spotted me. And we'll find out if I'm wrong when I abruptly get my shit kicked in. Or not. Yeah, I'm no dramatic music. No uh, talks about safety, as they put it. I think I'm in the clear. All right. That's one more upgrade out of the way. 
This game, this game is Metroidvania as all crap with their... But in like the not so... I think I talked about this before, where it kind of... Once, the, once they started having, uh... Once they started having, uh, blowtorch, I was like, okay, that's fine. But once they had two different types of torches, and then they were like, but also upgrades for those torches, I was like, oh, this is... This is Headlander, which was, from, in my opinion, was Metroidvania done wrong, in that it was like... Oh, yeah, big, big multifaceted level that wraps on in itself, that's fine, but then, like, but key cards, get your five clearance levels, I'm like, oh, that's simple and disappointing. Those aren't a series of skills that get you around different differently, you're just talking about arbitrary level ups of clearance, and, uh, having this many versions of cutting through a wall upgraded over and over again is kind of that, to an extent. Let's see. There's at least one Joe in here. At least one. No motion detector so far. And our goal is to move forward because we don't know what, what else to do yet. I'm actually moving away from my goal technically, but there's no other directions to go in so far, I don't think. Something in this room must be helpful somehow. I don't know how I'd do anything that's in the room without attracting the attention of that Joe, though. He's just kind of staring into the room. I haven't seen him move or rotate at all so far. Oh! There goes my entire idea of reality. Okay. He sounds like he's over here now. Oh, there he is. Okay. Find a way out of the engineering workshop. There must be interactive things. Ah, oh, that's one of those weird Tesla-looking bastards. Is he walking? There he is. I saw. I see a shadow. He's probably gonna spot me, and I'll probably have to disable him. This is a pretty confined area, and I probably have to do multiple interactions to get out of it. So I should probably get my stun baton ready and just accept that. Yep. Yep. You don't say. All right. Right, I just beat him to death. <laughs> I start looking for my we melee weapon again. You got so many trinkets, it just comes naturally to try to do that. Well, he's dealt with. The question is whether or not anyone else is going to show up. But yeah, it's no small deal just how many items there are in this game. I've got a... St look at this. I've got a med kit, stun baton, flare, noisemaker, smoke bomb, flash burn, uh, bang, M E M P mine, molotov, pipe bomb. And I have three to eight items of each individually. Or, actually, stun baton is just ammo, so it's kind of different. Three to six of each, stacked on top of each other. And then on top of that, I have two different types of torches with whatever weird upgrade modules have to be added onto them. Uh, are they, let's see, did I say flamethrower? Oh, right, I don't have them right now. Well, I, I also normally have a flamethrower, a revolver, and a shotgun to add to the pile. And I've got the, I've got the ion torch and the photon torch, or whatever they're called. I've got a bunch of spare uh, parts and items all over me, and I've got the, uh, the thing that decodes doors, and those are all just like, what, in, 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 in Amanda Ripley's jumpsuit? <laughs> it's all, that's super video gamey, huh? <laughs> Not really even criticizing, I'm just pointing out the absurdity of, like, just, like, it's, they, they, they give you super limited inventory to try to be, and it's, it's definitely for mechanical horror limited resource reasons and not for any sort of, like, realism reasons, because nothing's even vaguely realistic about how much stuff is on my character. <laughs> Need to restore power in order to do anything. Is that over here? Ah, uh, yeah, that's probably it. Yeah, if I didn't take that guy out, he probably would have been a hassle to, to continually stealth around. That a the action of doing that doesn't take too long, so I could conceivably run away from him long enough to do some of this stuff, but, uh... Probably making this a whole thing a better experience just by getting rid of that right off the bat. Hello? I wonder what percentage of people actually don't kill that guy. He seems like he's especially likely to die because he's just in a room with so many interactive objects and he's completely alone. Which definitely feels like it encourages you to just take him out and get it over with. Mash the E button! Open that chest, Kratos! Yeah, it's the hardest thing in the world. Mash that button. There we go.
Bye. And there's a hole in the floor. I see you, Scrap. Seems like a weird time for dramatic music. Nope, still don't have the device for this. Forgot it wasn't a power thing. Yeah, what could go wrong, right? I'm sure I'll be fine down here. Also, my battery's about to run out, so hopefully there's nothing spooky. Wait, did I do all that just to lift it off the ground? So... Well, I'm not, I don't really feel like going back, but, uh... I would be kind of curious to look back at this construction of that, uh... Vehicle to see if it was really that hard just to climb under it. Your average vehicle has a lot of clearance above the ground that you could fiz easily fit a, a human under. And that looked like some kind of all-terrain vehicle, which is really exasperates that issue by making because those are usually even more lifted by comparison. But maybe it had maybe it had some weird armor plating or some sort of weird construction that was way too low to the ground. It's probably not worth dwelling on, so I won't. And by, I mean I won't I won't physically dwell on it. I'll talk about it all I want. <laughs> so this leads back to where I already was. Can I open the door from this side? I sure can. Might as well do that th that sooner rather than later, in, in case I ever uh, have to go back this path, but also being chased by something. Since it seems to just opened the door into the room I started in. There's also probably a safe in the uh, save in this room. Oh, it took me back into this room. Right. I guess that makes sense. I guess I will take a look at it then. Um. Okay, I can buy that. Yeah. That makes sense. Uh, there's vertical clearance near the wheels, but then between the wheels it actually seems to get quite a bit lower. Admittedly, I should be looking at it from up here instead. N actually, no. Yes? I don't know. I'd kind of have to put it back on the ground, which I don't think I can do to get a better look at it. Uh, I could kind of go either way. She might have been able to fit through that. Just... Of course, I, I, I would mean... Oh, hello. Distraction device I could have used, probably. When I say she could have fit, I, of course, mean just ru a jumpsuit Ripley, not uh, not uh, Ripley plus all of the items on her. Which uh, we, But we, largely, we just assume that she's just jumpsuit Ripley, I think. I hear you, save point, but where are you? Oh, there it is. It's right in front of me. It was just flanked, so I couldn't see the... The more recognizable and iconic parts of its uh, appearance. All right. This really has been like an extended vacation away from any aliens, hasn't it? So we had a motion tracker warning, but no indication of the actual enemy yet. Was it? There it is. How much are they going around? I don't see other paths. Unlock the shutter. Alright. So there's a shutter over here that goes to the chief engineer's office. Okay. And that must be how I get into the main facility. So, kind of seems like my goal is to go to my right in a little bit, but that might not be... That might be where it's locked. I have to find an alternate path. Where'd that guy go? Did he go through a door and leave? Is he here, or is he in a different area? Oops. I accidentally changed floors. I can't tell if he's in the other room or not. Oh, there he is. Shit. This could require my attention. Okay, I'm leaving. No, thank you. How about you? Oh, this is the shutter. Right, so I probably want the guy I saw walking away probably went through this door and closed it. And left me with this situation. With the spooky robot in the same room as me. Interesting that they took the specific action of removing all the guns from my character. Presumably to make this whole... You have to fight a bunch of, uh... Androids part again. Makes sense. 
Let me go ahead and just reload my battery. I saw my flashlight battery was just empty, so I figured I'd just refill it. Should I just kill this guy? Seems like a rather narrow passageway to try to avoid him in. He's like directly between me and where I'm trying to go. How do I how do I lose him already? Oh, he's around the corner. There we oh, and he's in that thing. Why not ask me if that's the best of all safety protocols? Bolt gun ammo, it said. I could use the radio as a distraction. Doesn't necessarily seem like the best call. Ooh, unless I wanted to... I can see it's working. Might be able to sneak past him if he goes for the radio. Walks to turn it off and I sneak out behind him and go past him. Getting back out will still be a little iffy. You said alarm detected. Aren't you gonna go check out the... There he is. Watch him just walk directly at me. Is that what is that what's gonna happen? Oh come on! Ah shit! You have to hold your breath for. I haven't had to use that mechanic for so long. That was like the medical facility. I didn't really think that mechanic was gonna apply to uh, androids. All right. So do we think this works on him? Is the question. He's got the weird suit on. Let's find out. Boop. No, it doesn't. Even though I hit him in the face. It seems like the, like the specific part that it would work on, perhaps. Hey, scrap. Nope. Don't run. Instead, just give in to death. Like human do. That's what human like to do, is be dead, right? Does it now? Alright, I might have to... Give in to this. Oh, I'm on fire. That's pretty high on the list of things I didn't want to do to myself, admittedly. Alright, have not tested Molotovs a lot, and that's what they do. Do not fire, do not explode inside of confi confined areas. Alright, you big old gaping problem. Come and get me. Where is he? I'm gonna see if I can run past him. Hi. Come with you? Oh no. That sounded really, really serious. It is kind of amazing how slow they are. Hello my darling, hello my honey, hello my ragtime gal. That's already, I did that once this episode. It gets a little silly at some point, admittedly. Don't run, you say, huh? Oh, goodness me, I didn't understand that. Thank you for alerting me to this important health and safety issue about running in accidents. He might get me, he might get me. Nope, got away. Run, 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 run. Got my scrap or whatever was on the table and... Oh, oh. Okay. Hello, new toy. Are you loaded already? You are, okay. Uh, well this is obviously here for a reason. Oh, you have to let go, okay. Is he dead? Yeah! Alright, that's good. New gun to add to the collection of guns. I get the feeling they specifically removed all the other guns to make, it, to make me use this gun, so that I didn't ignore it when I got it, because we got so many guns. Frank Herman, War and Totality. What's, what's in the air? Is there an exposed gas vein here? That, I don't think, I don't think, uh, like mist or steam would quite make that effect, would it? It's usually like a something else in the in the air you don't want, like open gasoline or something. Hello. 
Definitely want to keep an eye out for this stuff. All right, we want to reload this guy too. Is it one shot at a time? Looks like it. All right, there's more. It's a hiding spot in here. Okay, and that guy's dead as hell, unfortunately. Should be safe to use the computer. Howdy. What do you have for me? Shutter's code 6832. Chief, I'm heading down to the reactor maintenance now as requested. I've locked the shutters behind me. The code you need is 6832. Ah, there you go. Power delivery. We need you down on the reactor maintenance floors. Or Flores. Flores? Uh, I've got reports of localized brownouts all over the station. I know it's going to, to uh, going to Hellon Station, but I can't see anything up here that would be compromising power delivery. Can you run a full systems check down here? Chief, I'm coming to find you. Flores, if you're still there, find somewhere safe and wait. I'm coming down to you. We need to stick together now. Sanders is dead, and at least four of the other engineers are missing. One of those damned androids nearly took my head off. So I've scavenged some parts together to make a weapon. It's got enough, enough kick and punch. Enough kick to punch a nice clean hole in one of those bastards. I'll be there as soon as I can, Chief. Who probably is dead behind me, so he probably didn't make it out of this one room. Because his weapon was here next to the terminal where he left the message about his weapon. That doesn't really bode well for him. Right, 6832. I assume that that can be put in here. And it's open! There's even a convenient window pointing in a specific direction to make sure I know that it opened. Alright, well he's dead. So now I've got two ways to take these guys out. I can take out the regular ones with the uh, stun baton. And I can take out the uh, the ones that are in the suit that we definitely have to assume is about electric retardation at this point. Because it, uh, made, it made it not go get obliterated by the stun gun, which... We, re we tested earlier this episode to confirm that it still is effective against the androids, but that android was in a work suit instead of, uh, that rubber suit. So I've got two options. And frankly, that means if, I, if I'm if i lucky enough to have a variety of enemies show up, that also means my ammo will actually go further because I'll be able to use two different ammo types against two different enemies. But it's possible that they're just all going to be orange now. And if that's the case, then, uh, well... Not a good time. We're going to a reactor, right? So yeah, that, that was the uh, objective. We have to we have to make sure there's no aliens in the reactor. Which I've said before, I think that uh, I, I think that's just gonna be where the aliens are, obviously, because there's gotta be aliens somewhere and everywhere else has apparently been scanned as to have no aliens. And if there was genuinely no aliens in this game left, that'd be a really strange second half of a game. And while I don't know much about this game, I don't I feel like I would have heard something about it if people were like, oh yeah, Alien Isolation, that game where there's no aliens for the entire second half. That was a weird bait and switch. Like, that's something people would definitely complain about if it was the case. So it's camp- it is unlikely to be the case. It's a weirdly open area. Alright. Thought there was gonna be more going on there. Hello? So we gotta go in there, I'm probably gonna fight a- more and more androids that need to be taken out with the bolt gun or stealth. So I won't be able to take them out with with electric means if they have the, that suit on. And then we'll get to find out whether or not there is aliens in this one last spot. Oh, elevator. <laughs> I'm slowly inching forward, like, come on, motion sensor, open up. Open door. That was not the case. I should probably be further away from this thing. So far, elevators have not been dangerous. Nothing has ever come out of one to attack me. But I, that that that's that could be a false sense of security. That could that could still happen once. You never know. Well, some of you know. In fact, a lot of you know. Been to the reactor. Never took that at all. I did some training in one. Seems like a lifetime ago. No motion so far, that's something. Nope, in the moment I put it down. Motion over here past this door. Leads to the transit station. You could reasonably think that that's gonna be my way out, ultimately. 
You can definitely see the guy in there, but he can't access me if the store doesn't open, so... Not much to worry about that right now. More bolt ammo. Absolutely, find all of that that I can. Foot. It had its back to me, walking down a corridor like it was the most natural thing in the world. I hid, but when I looked up it wasn't there. I think it went into the floor. Maybe the ceiling. Sevastopol's a maze. Could be living anywhere. This must be what the marshals have been chasing. This shouldn't have been kept from me. Chief out. Oh, maybe he did make his trip all the way down here. Is that another bolt? Oh, it's a shotgun. Oh. Was that a shotgun and a re that's a shotgun and a revolver? Really? That seems iffy. <laughs> that seems That strikes me as a tad unfinished that they would just strip those weapons away from me and then like nonchalantly just throw them back at me just like that. Weird. Yeah, they took them away from me just long enough to force me to use that uh, stun baton. I mean the uh not the the bolt gun. No flamethrower, though, huh? No. That's gonna be a big deal if I encounter anything that I'd want to fight with a flamethrower. Yeah. Understandably, I'm a little insecure about the idea of not having a flamethrower when it became such an asset so quickly. Oh, what if I don't get one back ever? What if that was just for that one mission? I can almost see that happening. But, it, but it's, it'd be a little bit of a bummer to find out that I find... I lose my flamethrower and nothing else through the semi-contrived concept of like, oh yeah, it's a magical gun detector that only hates normal guns and flamethrowers and not any welding devices. But then you magically find all of the other types of guns except for the flamethrower just at a random stair- at a random ladder? Some people don't like when I criticize things, but you gotta- you gotta admit, those two exact weapons, which were so, uh, specifically given to you in, like, noteworthy and story-related ways and, and ex exploration-related ways, having those two really rare weapons that you never find anywhere else just unceremoniously plunked in your lap at the bottom of a ladder on your way to something? Seems like they may have not- it seems like they may have made the whole level and then, at the last minute, decided, no, they should actually have that type of weapon with them. And then plunked them on the ground there, like, ah, we can't redesign stuff right now. But we decided to balance this level differently. Hello. That's a reactor. Wow. At the top of the reactor core, Ricardo. <laughs> Nothing. We got some androids, core control systems, business as usual. I'm gonna have to explore the lower level. Should be an elevator down somewhere. Well, yeah, this is no hyper clean energy like Phantom Menace nonsense with with a what like everything looking pristine and filled with beams of super sci-fi light. This is like nightmare reactor from 70s and 80s films. This feels like the kind of thing you'd see in. Uh, Basically something like you'd see, expect to see in like Total Recall or Dark City or something. I don't know. That's the general feel I get. Can't fact check right now. Alright, well good luck me. I'm sure nothing could go wrong in this giant lightning chamber where everybody is lightning shielded even though they're already artificial creatures. And I'm just a dumb human with a bunch of metal devices in their inventory. Did he already see me? He already saw me immediately, didn't he? Well, let's just get this started. Hey, buddy. Well, it's one down. Five shots remaining. Hopefully I'll find more down here. Yeah... I don't... I don't take my chances of uh, stealth being very high around here, judging by the... Uh, Oh, they're just coming straight at me. Alright, well, we're just gonna have a fight then, huh? Let's see what I can get done with the shotgun. Oh, shit. I didn't know what a robot could just have freaking lunging attacks. I thought I was safe at the range. There we go. I'm using the shotgun because I don't use the shotgun ever. So let's use up that ammo so I can stop leaving it on the ground. Oh, reload.
Hello. That was close, admittedly. Hey, shotguns, see? Good thing I used some shotgun sh shots too. Let's, speaking of which, let's relo reload that. Which is a slow process. There we go. Not that slow, actually. So, I, this appears to be an action segment. Either that or it just took the elevator at the wrong moment and immediately got swarmed. In which case, well, still gonna have to live with that. Unfortunately, I can't craft ammo with all this excess stuff I've, I'm picking up. So all these extra resources are just gonna have to wait here for now. Hello. There's a locked door here. There's a button over here. What do you do? Second elevator? Looks like it. Is there a reason to want to go there? Not sure. Descend to base of reactor. Eh, might as well check it out. It's here. I can't press the button. Well, how much you want to bet that's the exit or place I go afterwards? Let's see, it would take me upstairs. Anyone attacking me right now? No? Oh yeah, that's a that's a window viewing the entire area. Alright, if I'm gonna do anything with this massive reactor, and if I know anything about 80s movies, their 70s movies and so on, like this whole place probably gets blown up or supercharged at some point. I'm probably gonna be up there when I do it. I'll probably take the second elevator that the game is arbitrarily gating me from using right now. Sorry, am, am I overanalyzing structure again? <laughs> Listen, I, I literally play video games professionally at this point. There's details to pick up on. Is that all of them? I think I got all of them. Huh. Alright. That makes this place pretty safe as far as the, everything goes, really, huh? Looking around for resources, but not really finding any. Don't know if the lightning's a threat to, the, to me as a player. A real human being in this situation, maybe, but I don't know if it's gonna hurt if they let it hurt the uh, player while they're exploring. Figure I'll take a look around since this place seems to be empty right now. Never know if I'll if it'll refill. That turned off button is is video game speak for you're gonna come back here and ride that elevator, which means that I'm gonna have to backtrack through here, which means there might be someone new. This place is totally vacant though, weird. There's no items anywhere, as far as I can tell. And nothing interactive. That actually further reinforces the idea that something's gonna go on there when I come back. Unless it was just a really cool room they designed to fight four robots in, but that, that would be weird in its own right. Alright, goodbye androids, it was nice knowing you. I guess we're riding another elevator already. Bye! See you later.